Have you ever been to a holiday party where all they serve is boring eggnog cocktail? Well, of course you have. We all have, and it sucks. So today I'm going to show you the upgrade to that. This is what I call the Orange Brandy Alexander. Now this is the type of drink that if you leave it out on Christmas Eve, Santa Claus is going home with a DUI. So let's get right into it. You're going to start off with one ounce of brandy, one ounce of white creme de cacao, and make sure you don't get the normal creme de cacao because it's completely different and it's not going to taste as good as if you were to use the white creme de cacao. Spilled it like a boss. Yes, sir. And then you can use either cream or milk, whole milk. Uh, we're using cream to, today because it just tends to taste a little bit better. But whole milk does the trick just fine. And lastly, you're going to remember to roll this orange. You're going to get one ounce of orange juice in there. Yeah, you can actually use a lemon squeezer to squeeze an orange too, which, you know, it's not something most people know. Well, the trick to it is you, you gotta, don't put it, yeah, you don't put it in the yeah, center. You just, you show, just show, angle, show it to the side. You angle it, you just, you just put it in at an angle so when you crush it, some is going to spill in the back, but it's fine. It'll all drain to the middle at the end. Yeah, you put a lemon in just flat, but with the orange, you, you kind of put the edge in first. And then later you can use the other half of it. Exactly. If you don't know what we're talking about, you just flip it over, then you squeeze that half. So then this is the last ingredient for this. Get some ice. Put it into the other side of the shaker. Shake it up. And you're going to strain the contents into a pre-chilled martini glass. Thank you, Kong. There you go, buddy. So again, you're going to want to pre-chill these for maybe half an hour to an hour before your date comes over. Just so you get that, that glossy look. There you go. And the last ingredient is going to be nutmeg. You want to grind fresh nutmeg on top of the drink. Uh, you can put as little or as much as you want, depending upon your taste. You can go to the grocery store, and they have ground up nutmeg. It just doesn't taste as good. I've tried both, and for me, my preference is getting the fresh nutmeg and grinding it on top. Plus, it looks cool. Like, if yeah. you're with a date, you that's can true. grind it up, you know, and say something like, ooh, look, I did this right for, just for All you. All about the that's, experience. That's yes. very true. So, this is the type of drink, um, if, if you're pansy like Kong, and you can't appreciate the complex flavors of orange and cream, then I guess you can simplify the drink by just taking out the orange juice. But keep in mind, this is the only drink that has milk associated with the drink. So if a girl comes over and she's asking for something creamy, then this is the go-to cocktail. Unlike your prom date, this never disappoints. Oh, this is so good. It's a winner. My prom date never disappointed. What are you talking about? It, it's mm. milky. It's rich. It tastes like like orange white chocolate. Kind. It has a you little know, bit of a kick, right? I've I've never you know those candies, the orange chocolate candies, where you break it and then you you eat it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm. I've never liked that in my life, and everybody. Loves I love it. those. This is what it tastes like. Yeah, yeah. it is what it I tastes like. I love this. Dude, Everyone I, loved it. But I swear I could drink this entire see, thing. See, I now. just yeah, don't hogging, like. I just don't like putting an orange with milk. Like, I would agree with you. Good. I would agree with in you. In this case, but in this, like when it's, it's like. I don't know. So why don't why don't when you eat cereal, you pour milk in it and then squeeze some orange juice <laughs> yeah, in it too? Because there's cereal in it and not alcohol. Yeah, carbs. Oh, don't, so alcohol can't, can't makes it, carbs it yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you're at a if you're at a holiday party and you make this drink for everybody, this is guaranteed to spice things up.